Hey, what's going on everyone? So I've been getting a lot of requests on how to set up your MetaTrader 4 for the first time. As all of you guys may be aware at this point, MetaTrader 4 is one of the best platform to use when it comes to trading cryptos. Um, they do provide 24 seven trading access depending on which brokerage you're with. So with that being said, we're gonna cut all the nonsense and go straight into how you can set up your MetaTrader 4 for the first time. What you're gonna wanna do is go to the app store on your iPhone and you're gonna simply type in MetaTrader, okay? Chances are as soon as you type in Meta, you're gonna see MetaTrader 4 and 5. Uh, we're gonna do the four. Uh, five is more for, it's different type of trading. We're sticking to four first. All right, so now that you've downloaded MetaTrader 4 on your phone, you're now going to have to connect your MetaTrader 4 with a broker, and it will allow you to trade uh, using their liquidity. So now you're going to click cancel, and you can either open a demo account with the broker that you chose, or you can choose to log in with a already existing account. So let's say hypothetically you have a broker account already set up. In that case, you're going to click login um, and search for your broker's name. Um, just so you're aware, uh, once your account has been created with your chosen broker, chances are they are going to tell you what server you're going to be in. So for example, um, there's Prosperity FX. Okay, and as you can see, there's the demo server, live server, live server 4. And chances are they will tell you on your account settings, on, typically on email or on your back office, whether it's a 4 or 5 or 3 or if it's just live. And all you're going to have to do is just type in your login information and you can log in that way. Now for demo account, it's a lot more simpler. So all you would have to do is go click create a open a demo account and then you can search for uh, the broker that you're trying to use. Now you could just go to MetaQuote's demo and open it that way. However, I don't recommend this because when you do it like that, the spreads, um, the ask and the uh, bid price will be kind of different. Um, and when I say kind of, I mean significantly different because there's almost no spread uh, charged to you. Uh, which basically gives you this false uh, hope and false gratification thinking that you can win uh, certain trades when really you would have lost them so it's best to go with a broker so again we're gonna stick to prosperity fx because it's one of the only broker that will permit you to trade cryptos 24 7. Uh, for demo account your name phone number does not really matter so you can just put in whatever for email, you can put in whatever information, doesn't really matter. The amount really doesn't matter unless you're trying to challenge yourself to grow your account to a certain amount. So we're just gonna click register. I think I need to put in another number. Perfect, now you've got your login information. You can save that and if you plan to reuse this demo account and if you wanna log back in. So there's a simple tab and then the advanced tab. I like advanced because it shows the spread, uh, the low and the high price and the current um, prices of each pair that you're trying to trade. So I myself will focus on cryptos because I don't really trade um, Forex that much anymore except for the indices. So if you just go to click plus sign, then you can add all the symbols and the pairs that you like. So in this case, we're gonna add the crypto pairs. Ethereum, Luna, um, Solana. Again, I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video. And then here you can see the spread cost of the each transaction it's going to cost you. And here you can see the, the low and the high price, and the buy and the sell price. And here is your chart at the bottom. You can click trade. And where you see the 0.01 right here, it is the size of the lot you're trying to place. Uh, this is the volume the unit that we use to measure the volume of your trading. So we're going to just do the lowest which is 0.01 for the sake of the video now if you want to buy by market you're going to click buy 
and now we've successfully successfully placed a trade now if you want to short this position you would do the exact same thing except you you just click sell uh, one of the biggest difference with metatrade for the exchanges is that with most exchanges you cannot place buy and a sell and hedge uh, but metatrader 4 allows you to have the flexibility to place buys and sell uh, long and short at the same time so it's very um it's more open and it's more i, I believe there's more flexibility so i like using metatrader 4 to trade cryptos um, if you guys have any more questions you guys can feel free to join our crypto community skynet crypto community i will put the link in the description of this video and if you guys have any questions just feel free to ask me and we'd be happy to help you in the group so with that being said thank you for watching this video i hope you guys gained some value from it let me know what else you guys want to learn